Hey guys, Tim again, Tim's Computer Fix.net. Got a brand new, this isn't even hardly three month old, Alienware Area 51 laptop. Uh, got brought into my shop. Not really sure what's going on with this guy, but when we press the power button, we get keyboard lighting up, we get the Alienware logo. And that is as far as we go. So, hey, let's try to get in the BIOS. Shut it down with the power button. Power it back on. Power it on. Hit F2. You will get the F2 set up. Just pop up there. Alienware logo. And that is as far as we get. Same thing if we go F12. So no matter what we do, we're stuck at this screen. You know, he did tell me that he installed himself a, a regular two terabyte drive in here for storage. And he's been using it. I uh, he was gaming on it last night and today he starts it up and he sees this. So this computer is still under warranty since it's less than a year old. I will contact him and see if he can give me all the information, that he, his documentation or whatever, so I can get my hands on that so we can have this honored through Dell. However, I'm going to try to troubleshoot a few things before I do that. And the things that I do here will not warrant, it will not void warranty. I'm going to shut it down and I'm going to flip it over. So, as we can see here, got some screws, baby. I'm going to go ahead and just take those screws out. See if we can get this back cover off. Okay, once I unloosened un up all these screws, I just took my little uh, opening tool here and uh, kind of pried a little bit, unsnapped everything, and we're able to now take the cover off. Four RAM stick modules I see there to work with. There's the battery. There's the drive that he had talked about he installed here. There's the SSD we're looking for here. Battery, of course. Four, four RAM modules, which, you know, I really don't think it's a RAM problem because, uh, you know, it's, it's at least showing a screen, but it could very well may be a RAM issue. This is the drive that he installed, so I will probably go ahead and just disconnect that uh, what I want to try ooh, wait a minute we have another drive here two SSDs and a mechanical two terabyte drive so I'm not really too sure which one has got the I know this doesn't have the operating system uh, these one of these two do unless it's in some sort of raid I don't, I don't know that's what we don't know. But, you know, this is no worse for wear with him. I'm going to go ahead and maybe remove uh, these two SSDs just to see. I'm trying. What I'm trying to do here is move past the post screen into at least like the BIOS. So whatever I remove, it releases that. Then I know that's probably the issue. So... That's not going to avoid warranty removing these and trying to power it on. So let's try that now. This is SSD number one. I'm not sure if these are in a RAID or not. We don't know. Raise that up. And remove it. Okay, we're going to make sure we remember which one this is. Ah, this is the Optane. This is the Optane drive. Now we'll remove that. Yep, that's the Optane drive. So that's what number one. This is number two. We'll remove that. Let's remove this. Oh, and this is the Optane drive. Well, well, well. Two Optane drives. Let's see. I was thinking that one of those might have been the boot drive, but both of those say Optane. 
let's just try to, to fire it up anyway, shall we? Okay, I have uh, flipped it back over here, and I'm just going to try to enter the BIOS. So I'm going to power on, hit F2 here, and F2 comes up. Look at there. Well, well, well. It looks like we have an issue with an Optane drive in here. This is an area, Alienware Area 51M. NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2070 in this guy, nice. And it shows his terabyte drive. I'm not really sure. I mean, I've never seen an operating system get, in, get installed on Optane drives but uh, these are very small usually I'll tell you what I'm going to do I am going to run this service tag and I'm going to kind of research this a little bit just to see what this computer shipped with and just to get or not get familiar with it okay I like uh, Dell's new way of kind of breaking down their system specs uh, a little bit more easier to read or understand than what it used to be. This kind of lists everything on this computer has. Uh, and if you come down to, this thing actually has two power supplies, a 180 watt and a 240 watt one. I'm going to show you that here in a minute. Uh, two power adapters. But here's here's the one right here. Look at this. This is this is crazy. So this is a bit disappointing. Okay, 236 gigs uh, in RAID zero is what this says right here. That's two times 118 gig Optane M.2 SSD. So these two drives here only is 118 gigs a piece. So they put these together in a RAID 0, so you get 236 gigs of drive space in a RAID 0 with Optane M.2s for your operating system. That's ridiculous. Uh, that really is. I mean, Optane right now, this was a year ago, so I mean, this, this laptop warranty expires in about a month from the time I was recording this video. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty disappointing. It's got an i9-9900K 8-core. That's very nice. Along with uh, a G-Sync 144Hz 1080p panel, which, you know, for it to be super high-end, I would expect it a little bit better of a resolution from the screen. It's nice that it has G-Sync. Nice that it has 144Hz processor's nice but wow why would you use two optanes and put those in a raid zero you know do away with the optanes and let's just put a nice M nvme you know in here and let's uh you know a nice size nvme and let's rock with that and you know what that's probably what i'm going to recommend i guess i could put these back one by one it's not going to boot but at least i'll know which one is bad if it freezes right I guess. Anyway, let's try that. I've narrowed it down, so that's great. Let's give it a try. All right, as you can see here, I have got the number one put in. Let's see if we can get into the BIOS again, shall we? All right, let's see if we can get into the BIOS now when I press this. Power on. I'll hit F2. I get the logo. And we're in BIOS. So now, let's see what this is showing. Yep, SSD1, NVMe Intel, 118 gigs. So let's power down. We're gonna flip this baby over again. All right, now we have number two installed in number two. Let's flip it over and see if we get into the BIOS with that. All right, let's press the power button. F2, Alienware logo, and we're into the BIOS.
Interesting. Let's see what happens when I put both of them in. All right. We now have both of them in as they were. Let's see what happens. That's the power button. Hit F2. Set up, getting ready. And now we're hanging. So there's something that that's hanging with the RAID setup of those two Optane drives, obviously. At least we've narrowed that down. My next step probably would just be to eliminate the Optane RAID, which I think is pointless. Uh, if you are getting better speeds, you know, it's not going to be by a whole lot. Uh, and plus, it's causing issues. I assume I can try to maybe wipe those drives and, and install them back in a RAID. Okay, so here's what I have done. I have eliminated both of those Optane drives and I have a nice little 970 NVMe Samsung in here. And, uh, you know, gosh, I'm, I'm still baffled about why why Dell would, would put two uh, 118 gig Optane drives in and put them in a RAID. I mean, that's less than 256 gigs of, um, you know, boot drive on a, on a very high-end laptop. And it's not like they're using Optane. Optane is, is a thing of the past anyways. It's almost like they're trying to, to, to get rid of their Optane drives and, and rent the cheap route, basically, instead of putting in a nice, a nice NVMe, you know, uh, uh, Evo or something. 500 gig or terabyte that they throw in these cheap little Optane drives and then put them in a RAID 0 which isn't very dependable obviously uh, something goes wrong with that RAID and that's all you know gone so you know instead of I mean we, we could wipe these drives and, and, and set them back up in RAID 0 again and, and put it back like he had it but why do that I mean you know these are relatively you know, to a point now that we're somewhat affordable, the 500 gigs, and to put in a laptop like this, you're not going to lose, you're not even going to see performance differences with loading the operating system. But let me fire this up to be sure that it sees this. So let's do that now. All right, power button, F2. Got our logo. F2, here we go. There it is. M.2, PCI Express, SSD1, the 970 Evo, 500 gig. Awesome. So now, all I gotta do is load up Windows, install it on that SSD, on that Samsung Evo there, and he'll be back up and running. Luckily, he didn't have any data on that RAID that he was concerned about it was all on the larger one terabyte drive shown here okay so i've got the nvme drive the 500 gig here installed and i've got the heat spreader on there that came off of the optane drive so just as an added precaution like i say this is his terabyte drive i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to disconnect that drive pull that up right there so that disconnects that drive basically I'm gonna I'm gonna install Windows I even though it shows the drive and everything I just want to be sure it makes no mistake his dad is on here so I want to be sure that's safe I will reconnect that after Windows is installed so that we now get his D drive back but now we're going to proceed to install Windows here we are about to load Windows and uh, you can see here drive zero drive zero i had previously loaded loaded an operating system onto this drive um, still a new drive i just used it once for testing purposes so i'm going to blow these out but you can see drive zero i just again disconnected that other one terabyte drive just to make triple sure that there's no uh, mistakes to protect his data basically so uh, there's the nvme drive showing uh, and look at here, I'm having to run this off of two 
two dang um, power packs this laptop takes. Unbelievable. Um, that shows what a beast, I guess you could say, this laptop is. Cool. That's pretty awesome. All right. Let's just continue with uh, with our setup here. I'm just going to delete these partitions. Delete. Okay, and there we go. Ready to rock. So we'll uh, hit next. And now we are installing Windows. Okay, so here we are fully loaded. Got all the drivers installed. I plugged in that secondary drive again. Let's have a quick look at that. This PC. There are the two drives. There's my NVMe, 500 gig in the storage. So and I've installed some of the Alienware software that comes with that. And oh, look, looks like we have a sensor there just coming up on camera. You can't see that with the naked eye. That's pretty neat because uh, the screen will dim when you walk away from it. I guess, you know, to say battery or whatever, or power. All you have to do is kind of like wave your hand over and it'll all come back to life. But we've got this thing running right. Diagnosed it correctly. Was a was very interesting uh, little repair there. And uh, again, I don't understand why you would use two Optane 118 gig SSDs to in a RAID to be your main driver. But anyways, it's fixed now. Hey, hope this helps somebody out. Have a great YouTube day. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, why don't you head right down below here, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel. That would be really awesome. I have much more computer repair videos coming your way. There's also a bell you can click for to get notifications for my videos. I really appreciate everybody's support. And as usual, everyone, until next time, see you soon.